this is going to be a fun, eye-opening video for me. A little week in my life turned, hey, Evelyn, you know what? How much do you spend in a week? And if I'm being completely honest, I don't budget. But after this video, I don't know, you tell me. Maybe, maybe it's time. Quick breakdown, I'm gonna save all my subscriptions and rent spendings for the end, and my Instagram family knows. We're digital nomading people, no leases, just Airbnbs, and you'd be, or at least I was, surprised to see how it compared to a normal lease. Now, I've seen a lot of these videos before, and I've always found myself wanting to guess how much these people spend in a week, so, Take a minute, go down in the comments, and let me know how much you think I'll be spending in a week. For reference, I don't buy too many materialistic goods. While you're guessing, I will give you my predicted breakdown. My guess is that I will spend 30% on food, 10% on transportation, 20% on entertainment and hobbies, and the rest of that 40% will go to rent. As for my overall spend, hopefully you've taken a guess by now, my guess is a good I want to say 500, but I feel like it might be a little bit more like 532, you know, just so we're not at some round number. So that is my guess. Let's see how closely we track to that. Anywho, let's get into it. We're going Sunday to Saturday, which surprise starts with 2 a.m. pizza as all what I spend in a week should. I got us all a medium pesto pizza to split for. I've not had an early morning za hit like that in a minute. The rest of Sunday was really calm. I'd like to introduce you to one of my favorite things about living in San Francisco, the free treadmill, Golden Gate Park. Now you'll see no gym spending here because look at this place, it's gorgeous. So this is how I get my exercise, but there is still some exercise I'll pay for that you'll see. I did indeed come back to the park after and grab some coffee, which was was for a belated catch up with a friend's birthday, so I paid for both of us. I got a chocolate and she got a lavender matcha. Okay, off to a Monday, and we're back on the work grind, which is how we make our money to pay for all these things. Which today I took a work provided shuttle, and I'll preface here since you'll see for the rest of the week too. I eat breakfast and lunch in the office since that's provided, and I'm so freaking thankful. If you're a foodie like me, you're definitely gonna want to join the TikTok family because I share so much of my office eats there, y'all. Team, the chef, the food is always so delicious, so thought through. And saving money here definitely makes it easier for me to spend more at nicer restaurants, which we'll get to. I did purchase some Girl Scout cookies midday from a coworker's daughter, but after that, I got home at six and just ate some leftovers in the fridge and spent the rest of Monday editing. Tuesday was a much shorter commute. I don't usually take the bus, but it was raining, so $2.50 for that. The morning walk is truly the best, though. I can't wait to show you on Friday. Then, while I was at work, my sister told me that it was National Caregivers Day and that she was celebrating. I didn't realize, so I quickly ordered her some new Rothies, which I knew she had been eyeing. And then the rain let up after work, so I met up with my best friend to walk to dinner. This walk, by the way, is by far my favorite thing about living in San Francisco. I've never had a more enjoyable commute my Instagram family sees these updates on the daily wink wink so join us anywho we're here for the all-day taco Tuesday at the best barbecue restaurant I've found so far in San Francisco these tacos were only three dollars and they're loaded with so much guacamole so good their brisket amazing I love this place so much and you're about to see just how much Post-work activities, we just started a new Netflix show, uh, finally got that video uploaded, and we're on to Wednesday. And it was raining again, so we took the bus. My car didn't work on the first attempt, so I didn't bother trying again. Listen, no one pays for the bus in San Francisco, okay? I know this might sound wild, but I truly feel like Little Miss Goody Two Shoes every time I pay, so sometimes I gotta prove that I too can break some rules, okay? And I'm seriously just so dang grateful. I feel like the luckiest foodie in the world. Thankfully, the rain let up by the time we left though, so here is once again our beautiful walk home. Seriously, these views are incredible. For reference, I pass by the Painted Ladies every day. You know that iconic theme song for Full House? Yeah, where that was filmed. So I always see people taking pictures there and I just feel so dang lucky to be able to see that view every day. When I got home, my roommate wanted to grab some bread, so I joined her on a trip to the cutest local grocery store. They have the most unique products here. I'm still working my way 
through them all, starting, of course, of course, with the ice cream freezer. We are on our third flavor of ice cream we're trying, and I also managed to convince my roommates to come out to that barbecue spot because that's how dang good it was. We finally got to try their pozzoli, which I saw so many Google reviews about. I knew I just had to have a taste of it, and they were correct. It was delicious, especially on a cold SF evening. And that ice cream, by the way, Black Sesame, best flavor yet. All right, Thursday, we're almost getting to the fun part, but first, a dark morning. Is daylight savings ruining anyone else's morning? Not a fan of how dark it is still out. Today was a nice day though, nice weather, but I was in such a rush that I had to catch the bus. Tomorrow, we will walk to work though. Incredibly busy day. I pretty much just worked all day and did my grad school homework, but took a break around eight o'clock to run over to the tennis courts. Love this part about San Francisco, saving on transportation, because because you can just walk or run to anything. These courts are in Golden Gate Park and I haven't played in a month and that really showed. If anyone has any tips on how to pick up tennis, by the way, please let me know because those classes that cost like $150, $200 each, I have not been able to convince myself that it's worth the money. And that brings us to Friday. I finally get to show you all the gorgeous morning walk. I mean, come on. These views are insane. I always add like 10, 15 minutes buffer to the walk since I know I'll stop and take pictures and stand there, take deep breath, take it all in, take so many photos, send it to all my friends. It's just beautiful. And on the walk, I also pass through the cutest neighborhood called Hayes Valley. It has some of the best food and shops if you've never been. After work, I spent some time packing up some returns and finally it was time to go to this restaurant I've been wanting to try for so long. It is $3 signs known for their pasta saved it for a special occasion, my roommate's birthday. And truly, I know their pasta is what they're known for, but that pizza was the best pizza I have had in a very long time. The mozzarella was finely shaven. The pineapples were sliced so thin. If you don't like pineapple on pizza, give the pineapple on pizza here. And the crust was just chef's kiss. Absolutely worth the money and trouble to get a reservation. Afterwards, we just popped into a casual neighborhood spot for some fun little cocktails where I learned I am not a Mezcal fan and that is fine. All right, the final day. Saturday was calm. I dropped off those returns, one of which was my Rent the Runway subscription, which we'll get to. And while I was editing, I realized I needed a cord for my hard drive, so I ordered that. Made some bread since we're celebrating my roommate's birthday tonight, and her boyfriend prepared the most incredible six-hour lamb roast. And we had tacos and cake for dinner before heading out to a relatively low-key night of dancing. And, and now we're at the end of the week. So let's talk rent. We're currently staying in a three bedroom, a one bathroom apartment out in a neighborhood called Nopa. The total price is 5,900 for this place, which we're splitting among five people. I pay about $1,200. Because of our current housing situation though, we've been able to find Airbnbs that come out to within $200 and $300 of our usual rent prices when we were tied to a lease. So it's actually very much possible for us to live month to month in Airbnbs. And since it is an Airbnb, we don't need to pay for Wi-Fi or utilities, which is so nice. Of course, you can also consider that as just a part of the Airbnb price itself, but you know what I mean. As for other subscriptions, I'll quickly throw them up on the screen here here there are plenty that i use and yeah prorated down to a week that's the final cost and that brings us to finally totaling it all up which drum roll please my total spend was i'm curious how closely aligned was your guess with either of those totals let me know down in the comments were you close were you not close let me know. And the overall breakdown ended up looking like this, which I, as of filming this right now, still don't know what any of that looks like. So hey, editing Evelyn, let me know. What is your reaction to how much I actually spent in a week? And in the comments, let me know. How did you do? Was this close to what your guess was? I've missed you all and I'm very excited to get back to the weekly videos. Check out more of my work life here and my day-to-day -day life over on Instagram at Evelyn Shares. Catch you in the next video. Bye.